Hello Divine Feminines, how are we doing? I just was going through my um, my womb book and something really spinny come up as a few things in this book have just, wow, hit so hard and resonated so much. So there is this festival, I'll just read the passage. In Italy, the temple of Diana at Nemi was the centre of a womb priestess cult dedicated to the great lady Diana of the Moon which my medicine drum is named after, also known as the Queen of the Witches. Hello, gorgeous, beautiful women. She had an annual festival called Nemoralia. I'll get back to that word in a second. The Festival of the Torches held on August full moon. During this lunar festival, the priestesses would carry lights to the lake and bathe in magical moonlight on the water. Some people would even take boats across the mystical moon lake. This festival date became the Catholic Feast of Assumption for the Mary, uh, Virgin Mary. The word Nemoralia, if I even got that right. My daughter's name is Nalia. N-A-R-L-I-A. -A. The spelling of this word is N-E-M-O-R-A-L-I-A. -A. Our soul's imprint is just magical. When we do oracle readings, when we do tarot, when we do any sort of divination or whatever you want to call it, magic, um, you know, communing with the earth, whatever you want to call it, our soul's imprint leads us to what we're meant to know, what we're meant to do and to follow our heart. That name just spun me out completely put it together and that is my daughter's name again beautiful goddesses if you have not read womb awakening initiation initiatory wisdom from the creatrix of all life please get yourself a copy it is one of the most amazing eye-opening books that you will ever read as a female and it's not just for the female it is for the male as well it, oh my gosh, it is just so, so eye-opening and everything within this book is just from the heart. It is so special and magical. You really need to get yourself a copy of this book to understand the meaning and the nature and just to come back to ourselves, our beautiful divine creatrix of life, our beautiful sacral waters, that womb portal. Mmm, that juiciness, that aliveness of what us women have been shamed into for so long, for so long. We have been oppressed, depressed, and put in the shadows. My beautiful goddesses, no longer are we in the shadows. It is our time to bloody well shine. Shine so bright that the men have no choice to, to embrace their beautiful hara, their womb space as well, and to unite as one beautiful, sensual, or just amazing beings together. The suppression that we have been put through for hundreds of years now, there are so many gorgeous women, healers, witches, whatever you want to call us, that are trying to uh, express, to heal Mother Earth, to heal ourselves in the most magical ways. And just you being part of this journey, you are a healer, you are that magical divine being, and you are meant to know your creative waters, no matter what it is. We create in so many different ways, not just life. We birth things all the time. Our beautiful bodies birth things, our beautiful hearts and our beautiful minds, our souls birth every single day. You are that magical divine light. You are that cosmic womb portal of this earth, of our new earth, our old earth, our ancestors. Mm, 
Can you feel them around you? Mm. That is divine. That is magic. Sisterhood is just so magic. We have to start doing more circles together, especially in-person circles. I really need to get more people together. There's plenty of groups out there that do this, but where if you're local with me, you've got no excuse. Come and join me in these beautiful sisterhood circles. I love you so much, beautiful goddesses, divine women. Have a magical afternoon till we see you again.